As they say, she lived it up. Britain's longest reigning monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, has passed away at the age of 96 after 70 years on the throne. Before that, she had many mystical experiences throughout her lifetime. Are you interested in learning the little-known truths about Queen Elizabeth? Then Money Tree has covered you with all of it. Let's dive in and know more. Elizabeth, Princess of Kent, had no intention of ascending to the throne. The fact that she was now first in line to the throne hadn't made her feel like she'd have to act as monarch anytime soon. Queen Elizabeth II, who was only 25 when her father unexpectedly passed away, has vowed to devote her entire life to serving her country. Whether it be long or short, while we take a moment to reflect, here are some fascinating details about the Queen's life. Number 1. She was not born as an heir to the throne. Princess Elizabeth was a minor royal for the first 10 years of her life, comparable to Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie of York today, but that all changed when her grandfather, King George V, died in 1936. The next in line was Elizabeth's uncle, Edward VIII, who abdicated the throne less than a year after assuming it in order to marry an American socialite named Wallace Simpson. Because Edward did not have any children at the time, his brother Albert, Elizabeth's father, ascended to the throne, taking the name George VI and making Elizabeth, then 10, the first in line to become queen. Number 2. Her younger sister, Queen Elizabeth II, gave her a family nickname. Elizabeth and Margaret were the only daughters of Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother and King George VI, who stated of his daughters, Lilibet is my pride, Margaret is my joy. Lilibet, of course, is Elizabeth, who got her nickname because her big sister's name was constantly mispronounced by Margaret, whom the family affectionately called Margaret. Number 3. She did not attend school as a regular student. Evidently, heirs do not attend a primary school like regular students. Instead, Elizabeth was tutored at home by various teachers, such as Henry Martin, vice provost of Eton College, which is still for boys only. And she was also given private religion lessons by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Number 4. However, Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Margaret did have a teacher. Elizabeth did not receive an education simply because she did not attend school. The majority of it came from her nanny, Marion Crawford, whom the royal family referred to as Croffy. Crawford would eventually be shunned by the royal family for writing a tell-all book called The Little Princesses Without Their Permission in 1953. The book recounted Crawford's interactions with Elizabeth when she was younger. Number 5. Elizabeth wished to fight in the war, but was too young. When World War II broke out in 1939, Elizabeth, then a teenager, begged her father to help in some way. She began by making radio broadcasts to boost the morale of British children. During one of the broadcasts, the
job and circumstance. She was born on April 21, 1926, but the month was deemed too cold and prone to falling during bad weather. Instead, her official state-recognized birthday fell on a Saturday in late May, or more commonly June, to allow for a celebration during the warmer months. In the United Kingdom, the exact date varied from year to year, but it usually coincided with Trooping the Color, Britain's annual military pageant. Number 14 to Spider Wishes, her coronation was televised. When her father, George VI, died on February 6, 1952, Elizabeth became queen for the first time at the age of 25. Elizabeth was in Kenya at the time of his death and returned as Queen of Kenya. Fans of the crown will recall that the events surrounding her coronation were fraught with drama. The notoriously camera-shy Elizabeth, who refused to allow photos of her wedding, didn't want the event televised, and others feared that broadcasting the coronation to commoners would undermine upper-class traditions of only allowing members of British high society to witness the event. A coronation commission was formed to weigh the options, and they initially decided to only allow cameras in a single area of Westminster Abbey west of the organ screen, before allowing the entire event to be televised with one minor caveat. No close-ups on Elizabeth's face. Number 15. She bought her wedding gown with war ration coupons. Elizabeth, still reeling from the effects of post-war austerity, paid for her wedding gown with ration coupons and a 200-coupon government supplement. But don't let that fool you. The gown was extremely elegant, made of ivory duchess silk, encrusted with 10,000 imported sea pearls, took six months to make, and had a 13-foot train. It was the first funeral service in Westminster Abbey since the 18th century and the first state funeral in the United Kingdom since the death of Winston Churchill in 1965. The Queen lay in state in Westminster Hall for about four days, allowing the public to visit and pay their respects, where royal coronations take place. If you want to know more fascinating details about Queen Elizabeth, then do let us know in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of this video. We promise to deliver more riveting video content in the future. Please subscribe and like our video before doing so.